of July. I thought it would be fun for you to spend the day with us, even though we're teething and not feeling the best. But we're gonna have a fun 4th of July festive day. I'll show you some different ways to set the table for 4th of July. And I'm gonna do a little like front porch refresh and make that a little bit more festive. And we'll also make a 4th of July snack. And Carter is dressed in his 4th of July best. Look at this little guy. <laughs> and then I just went to Dutch Bros and asked them to make me a 4th of July themed drink because I just thought that would be super fun. And I don't know if I'll be able to show you this, but it's red, white, and blue. It's I can't show you the top, I'll show you in just a second. But it's so cute, they did such a good job. I don't even know if that's flavored or just food coloring on top, but how cute. Let me show you. Look at that. It got a little mixed up in the car, but it's red, white, and blue, and it like the colors go down into it. How cute. I love it. Okay, we gotta taste test it now. It's really good. It kind of just tastes like it's like an oat milk latte, and then they put um, soft top on top. There might be some kind of flavor in there. I can't really tell, but it's good. It's the latte that I needed today. <laughs> My mom sent me this and it has been a lifesaver for his teeth. He's been teething so bad and we haven't been sleeping at night at all because of it. But look at this, he just will hold it in his mouth and chew on it and none of the other teethers he likes this much. And it's dishwasher safe and you can put it in the fridge or the freezer. Get one of these, they're on Amazon, I'll link it. So I just went to put Carter down for a nap and I had him in my arms and he was asleep and then all of a sudden poop explosion everywhere like in his sleep and it came out it was all over the, his sleep sack all over me all over his outfit somehow his shorts were saved so i was able to leave him in the red shorts and i put on a different blue shirt so he's still like kind of fourth of july but my outfit has changed now it's okay this one's comfier anyways but oh my gosh and his sleep sack that was his his other one is in the laundry and it's wet right now because it, I had just thrown it in the washer this morning and I haven't moved it to the dryer yet. So he's in there right now laying there just in his clothes with no sleep sack, which he's not used to. And I can hear him fussing and yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a morning already and it's like 9am. <laughs> so it took a while to get him down, but he's asleep. So I probably have like 20, 25 minutes before he's awake again. So I'm gonna start um, cleaning off the porch a little bit. There's just a lot of dirt that has kind of like blown up on it. It's really windy where we live. So um, I'm gonna kind of clean it off and then maybe I'll get to start decorating it, but he will probably wake up sometime in the middle there. So we'll see. Okay, there's like a little stain of dirt basically where the mat was so we're gonna have to get out the power washer at some point I've swept away most of what will sweep up there was a spider web in that corner that I cleaned out and there's still a little dirt but it's okay I'm just trying to do a quick little refresh so I can update the doormat but this is our cute little front door and I'm gonna go get Carter because he's already awake and then I will start with some little decorating Carter's going to swing for a little bit and watch his favorite little fruit dancing while I do the front porch. Hubba, Hi. Oh, we just don't feel good. So I got this giant doormat from Target that I can put my other doormat on top of just to add some little like festive flair. I'm not sure if it's going to be too big for the space though, so we'll have to see. And then I have this little wreath and it's it actually was just like the twine and I added all these green things so I can move them around if I need to but I thought I could add some flags in there and maybe tie um, some of this ribbon around it I thought that would be cute
Okay, I think the porch turned out really cute. I didn't do that much to it. I really wanted to add some like festive lights around the door because I think that would be super cute for 4th of July, but it is getting up to like 120, 125 degrees here and I, I just don't know that the lights would last. I feel like they, I don't know if they can do that well in the heat. They probably make some there for that, but I, I don't have any of those. We have some like leftover lights from our wedding that I could put up, but I just feel like they burn out so fast in the heat and I don't want to deal with having to turn them on every night and everything. So we're just going to leave the little wreath and the mat, but I think it looks cute and it just, you know, it's the small little things that add some little festive touches to your home for the holidays. So I'm excited about it. Finally got a smile out of this one. <laughs> All right, we're about to make the easiest little 4th of July treat ever. It's cheesecake pudding mix, um, plain yogurt. The recipe calls for strawberry, but I just want to use plain. Uh, cool Whip, strawberries and blueberries, and mini marshmallows. So what we first have to do is put in the um, pudding mix, the yogurt, and the Cool Whip, and let it sit in the fridge for an hour. And then we can mix in our fruit and mini marshmallows, and that's literally it. I'm gonna half the recipe, I think, because it calls for like 18 ounces of yogurt and 12 ounces of Cool Whip or something, and this whole thing of Cool Whip is eight ounces, and that just seems like it's gonna make a lot, and it's really just gonna be me and Jake eating it. So I am gonna half it. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball everything. I'm gonna do about half of the cheesecake packet. You wanna say hi? <laughs> He's moving all around. Uh, half of the cheesecake packet, and I'm gonna do I don't know. I'll just do some scoops of yogurt. If it bothers you when people don't follow a recipe exactly, you can fast forward through this part. <laughs> While Carter is napping and this is sitting in the fridge, I wanted to show some fun and easy place settings for the 4th of July. But first, look at this tablecloth from Target. It is so simple and so cute for summertime and I thought it was perfect for the 4th of July. I think it was only $15, but I'll link all the items in these place settings in the description box below. I also loved this charger. It's also from Target. It's so simple and so neutral and you can use it year round and add pops of color for the different holidays. I'm going to show a couple different ways to fold napkins in pretty ways in this video, but this one's probably the easiest. You just lay it out, grab it in the center, and pull it up, and then you're going to tie your ribbon around it and you're done. next place setting I could totally see being used for like a 4th of July picnic or out on a like backyard balcony for the cutest little outdoor meal. The strawberries and blueberries are such a cute way to add red and blue to your table and I also think the checkered napkin is just so cute. To fold this napkin you'll just fold it in half in the shape of a triangle and then you want to roll it up starting with the loose ends and then you're just going to tie a knot in the middle.
This one is such an affordable option and I still think it looks so cute. It also would be so cute as like the perfect kids table setup if you just take out the white plate underneath. The blue paper plates were $3 for a pack of 20 at Target and the flag napkins are from the dollar store so super affordable. I got a six pack of these wooden stars from Walmart for I think $1.80. You can paint them red or blue and to add like a little pop of color and name to the place setting. I used my Cricut to print the name for mine but you could always write it in a sharpie or paint pen too if you don't have a Cricut. For this last place setting, I had to use this charger again. I think that this setting gives off kind of like coastal beachy vibes and I love how neutral it is. This napkin fold is so cute and totally functional because you could put silverware, name cards, straws, or even like sparklers would be fun to put in that little pocket for the holiday. For this fold, you want to fold the napkin into a square with the backside and seams showing, and then fold the loose corner down to create the pocket. Then you're going to flip it over and fold the two sides to meet in the middle. When you flip it back over, you should have that cute little pocket there. I hope that you liked this little segment, and if you did, let me know which place setting was your favorite in the comments. Jake, my husband, just went to the store and he's going to get some more baby Tylenol and then he's also going to get some rice cereal because we want to try the baby rice cereal tonight and see if that helps him sleep a little bit better because his doctor actually did tell us we could start at any time and we've just kind of haven't done it yet. So maybe we'll put that in the vlog, him trying his first little solids. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. He might be a little too fussy to try it, but... We'll see how it goes and I need to finish making that snack. It's been in the fridge for way over an hour, but that's okay. Mom life. <laughs> in case you were wondering, I did put my pajama pants on. We're just gonna be comfy, huh? Yep, we're just gonna be comfy the rest of the evening. Maybe it's supposed to look a little bit more red, white, and blue. Um, maybe I should have gotten more strawberries and blueberries, but we'll try it and see what it tastes like. It looks like it will be good. Definitely forgot to add the vanilla when the recipe said to add vanilla. But I mean, it's super sweet, so I don't know if you really need that. I definitely, I definitely get the cheesecake taste. I didn't think that was going to really come through, but... It does taste like cheesecake dip. It's really good. Best way to get some fruit in your system. You should make this for 4th of July. <laughs> you want some? Maybe soon, huh? Someday. You can have some. Next 4th of July? <laughs> Carter, are you watching sports with dad? We got a Christmas pajama baby because someone is five months but fits into their nine to 12 month outfits. Look at you. You look so cute. Ooh, the 
to it then. Ooh. <laughs> it's okay. Ooh. So you're doing? <laughs> what do you think? His face when he starts eating.